Alrighty then, successful indie author, 5-Minute Focus, episode 789, Scars. He wants to go out. It's the middle of the night though, buddy. So, as soon as we're done, we'll go out. It's 4.30 here, but that's okay. It's dark. We'll have flashlights. But it's one degree above freezing, which is crazy. So it's warm. Anyway, scars. Scars are nothing more than a roadmap of your life painted across your body. And sometimes those scars aren't visible. Uh, your emotional scars, your intellectual scars, the scarring that uh, is inside uh, any, any surgeries you've had, stuff like that. But the scars that you wear on your body, wear inside your mind, roadmap of your life, those are learning points. They're all learning points. They're all history, too. There's nothing you can do to go back and remove that scar. Now, you can temper it. It'll, it'll weather over time and wither, I should say, over time and fade and not be as extreme. <clears throat> but it's still there. It will always be there. How you treat it, that's up to you. How other people treat it, ah, that's still, that's not your business because that's other people. You can't control them. Trying to control other people is folly, and it's really, really hard. It takes an incredible amount of effort for what kind of gain. You can't fix the world, but you can fix yourself. And that's what a lot of scars are. Hey, okay, I had a hernia surgery. Yep, it's a scar. I fixed myself. Well, the doctors fixed me, and that's good because I can lift stuff now without really bad things happening. So you've got your scars, and you're still here. You have a 100% success rate in surviving all the stupid crap that you've done when you were younger that left scars on your body. And younger doesn't mean young. It means younger than today because uh, one of the worst scars I have is a second-degree burn scar on my leg, which is the whole reason I'm an author, because I can't be trusted to be outside doing manly man stuff. So, hey, let me, let me go inside and do something that's a little less uh, risky for my body. Don't use gasoline to help you start a fire. Okay, you've heard that a million times. Well, you should adhere to it. Yeah, yeah, I used to be smart. <clears throat> Other people don't get to see all your scars. Look at me, I'm wearing a scar, you don't see anything. I mean, you see a purple spot in my head. You know what that's from? That's from like sixth grade when we threw the pencils up and stuck them in the ceiling. Well, one hit me in the head. Number two pencil, right in the head, now it's got a purple dot. Yeah, everybody gets to see that scar. That's the intelligent scar. Because only smart people get pencils in the middle of their head. So your scars. People don't get to see them, but they're still there. And how you deal with them and how you accept them. And how you use them as the roadmap to, for, for the future. That's up to you. <clears throat> so, fuel for your stories. You can insert that stuff. It's cool. It's neat. Because you have had a front row seat to the history of your life. And maybe you've had the front row seat to the history of other people's lives. A lot of guys, uh, a lot of people went to uh, Iraq and were just driving, got blown up, got scars from that. Yes, you've got to see other people's scars as well, and sometimes it's really not pretty. But one thing to keep in mind, scar tissue is stronger than surrounding skin. And this is when my sur surgeon did my hand. <clears throat> he said, once this heals, if, if there's any issues on your palm the surrounding tissue will be weaker. So that's where you'll get a cut. You're not going to get a cut right in that scar itself. It's not going to separate there. It's going to separate around it. Important safety tip. Scar tissue is stronger than the surrounding skin. So use that as your shield, as your armor for your body, because scar tissue, we've all got it. How we deal with it is ours. It's our roadmap to the future. Well, it has to be, because it's there, whether you want it to be or not. Peace, fellow humans. Hey, come on now.